Good morning, everybody. We hope everybody is good and well. Week free, Alexandra here. I've been meditating, so I look very sleepy. Can you She's just been can asleep, I, I think. More, can I have more you know of the what? Camera? You know what? In this industry, yeah. it's a fantastic industry, but sometimes there's a little bit of fakeness about it, and I feel like I'm being fake right now. I need to be myself. We just hold this a minute, yeah? Are you going to show them your terrible pants on the bottom? No, I'm not showing my terrible pants. Oh, God, you're not taking your clothes off, are you? That's oh. that's the real oh. scarf for you. That's the real. We chest look. Hair. We got a little bit of air to that chest hair. I only one will not get my chest hair out. And not today, anyway. My beard isn't showing either. Well, my beard is definitely showing, but there you look you look beautiful with a beard, anyway. So. Oh, thank it you. It doesn't matter what what you're looking like. You're always beautiful to me, Alexandra. Oh, you're so Just lovely. just playing that's... up for the camera. Just keeping just I was keeping about the fakeness going. That's completely fake. Completely you fake. Smell good though. What have you got in your hands? I. Got some great hand cream on. I don't think it's. I was going to say it's not because you've been doing the washing up. It's not sensi hand cream though. I don't think. No, it's not sensi hand cream. It's just some normal, nice hand cream. Oh. Sensi is even better, guys. If you want your sensi hand cream, check out the uh, website below the comment box. And um, this is not a sales book. So anyway, today it took us one minute twenty to give you that intro. Do you ever watch those like videos, like how to edit a video? Make sure your intro is less than. 10 seconds that was a 1 minute 20 intro that was like how not to make a video and because this is going to be how not to do anything and because i've said that we've not gone to 1 minute and 40 second I know, intro you're the worst. so you know we're Let just re we're and rewriting it over the, 2 minutes we're rewriting intro. the script so we have but i don't know what you'd come to talk about would you enlighten me okay so we've been doing this business for 13 years god that makes us sound old we've been in business for about 15, 16 years since I'm nearly I'm 40 this year, so I've been in business since I was 24. And I've been in business since I was 20. Yeah, I wish she had. Um, I wish she had. Um, and many, especially in this business, but not just in business, outside of business, I see people do such great, 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 great things. Yeah. And they're heading in the right direction, and then suddenly. They self-destruct. Oh, that old China. They self-destruct. And I've seen it so, so they many explode. times. Yeah, they do explode. They explode like. and they go into this this mode of just tear it's like they put up a beautiful it's like sometimes they put up a beautiful wallpaper in their front room and it's stunning. And it's really gonna look good when the party starts when they invite all their guests guests over next week. And then the day before the party starts, they decide to rip the wallpaper down. And cancel and the party. And they still have the party. No, they cancel the party Other too. Some of them do have a party still, don't they? They so do have a party. They need to be amazed at their self destructive streak. Yeah, but I'm one of the new them. And what I'm saying is, me as a male. Hi, I'm going to sit up. Me as a male, I've kind of. Of course, I've probably self destructed in my life and not known about it. But I tend to. What I always think of is like people get so far and they get scared of where they could go. They get scared of where they could go or their ego takes over. That's, that's my opinion. Think What's your opinion? Uh, thanks. You're the star actually, of the show now. Oh, thanks. I actually think it's because they don't believe that they're worthy of the success that they're having, or that they allow other people to get inside their heads who believe that they're not worthy, or they become scared that they're going to lose what they've got. You know, like when you get, you know, a boyfriend or a girlfriend, whichever way you go, and you are having an amazing relationship and then you fall in love with them and then you become frightened don't you You become frightened that you are going to lose them and I've known people and done it myself where you've just finished the relationship rather than get dumped and this is kind of very much the same thing in business people will actually destroy their businesses from the inside out rather than suffer a failure or rather than suffer a disappointment they're they're taking control of their own demise so i was it's trying to think nuts and it's also and i want to say this totally normal so if you are doing this if you are prone to self-destructive behavior you're not a bad person i was incredibly self so that is that is what that is what i want to interrupt because i was trying to think of a situation where you've self-destructed, and I know you've been self-destructed. I can't really think of one off the top of my it. head, but you've I remember. You're kidding me. Why, Our relationship I, is littered with my self-destructive behavior. Especially at the beginning. Yeah. And 
So describe that feeling, why you were you self-destructive at the beginning of our relationship I, and I, how you can relate I it to business. I am naturally, because of my early childhood experiences, unfortunately a self-destructive person. I don't believe I'm worthy of anything great in my life or I didn't always scared of losing what I did have in my life, my scared of losing my parents as an adopted child, scared of being rejected because I'd obviously been given up at birth or just after. Um, and even though you don't know these things are happening because you're literally six months old, you know these things are happening in your cells and unfortunately it imprints on you. And so that led to a self-destructive child growing up. My mum used to say, you're so self-destructive. And you have to learn that there are two wolves, good wolf and bad wolf. And the wolf that lives is the one you feed. Feed your good wolf. Understand your triggers for self-destructive Feed me, baby. Behavior. Feed me, baby. Understand your triggers for self-destructive behavior. Accept that what you're doing is okay. And I'm using the air quotes for okay. It's not okay because it's going to hurt you. Because that's what self-destruction is. It hurts you. But understand that you're not weird. You're not bad. You're not a bad person. You are suffering from probably previous trauma and you just need to take control in a positive so way. So let me ask you another question then, yeah? So And you can beat it. I am way less destructive the, than uh, I used to be. So way tell me, less. tell me when you're self-destructing and you know you're self-destructing. Because I think you do if you're honest. When you, you know, you. When you are self, uh, when you are self-destructing, what do you do to put a stop to that personal self-destruction? I think before you get even worse. I think first of all, you have to know that it's happening, and that can be incredibly difficult. So that requires some self-awareness and some what we call emotional intelligence, some EI. We've got artificial intelligence. But the one that we actually really need on this planet is called emotional intelligence. So lots of books out there, lots of videos out there, lots of people talk about it often. Understand where you are. You'll probably see that when you are being self-destructive, your business is suffering, the people around you are suffering, people are not happy in your company, people are saying things to you. They're saying, what are you doing? You're very negative, you're very this, that and the other. You'll be getting a lot of pushback in a lot of places. So you need to kind of realize it requires you to be extremely honest with yourself. And as you develop your emotional intelligence, as you develop an awareness that you are self-destructive as a human being, and that you are having a self-destructive episode, then you can step back. And I think you really need to zoom right out and you need to be accepting. That this is an episode. Try and understand why you've triggered it because you need to avoid your triggers. And then just work to stop doing those bad behaviors. Uh -huh. Just work. And if you cannot stop the self-destruction, for example, say you're doing it in your business. Say you are self-destructing your business, perhaps by doing something like going onto social media, which is the best, and being negative all over the place, um, pooping on everybody else's parade, not being full of love for people who are successful, sniding and bitching behind the background, knowing that it's going to catch you out. Um, because what you say about people will always come back to you. So never say anything you don't actually want that person to know you said. So That's a good tip. But say you're doing that, take yourself away from that situation, get off social media and just stop doing it. So I've been thinking, simple. so in the last nine minutes, I've been thinking of an occasion where I self-destruct and, I, and of course it's never happened because you're perfect of course <laughs> but there was occasion um no i self-destructed quite a lot of times there was occasion, dietary you self-destruct dietary i can self-destruct you know i can do well for six days and then totally destruct on one day but I get back on the bus the next day that's the main thing but it's when alexandra is um she obviously for those who don't know but this is a running family joke. Did you know I had a heart operation? I, when Alexander had a heart operation, I kind of really <laughs> went into self-destruction mode. Really? And did some stupid things which I never should have done. Oh. 
And I think you need to add a little more context there. It wasn't like with other women or. Oh no, it, it, was, it was um, I financial just, uh, based decisions. I just do that I, anyway. No, I don't really. Just just get the rumor mill started. There, <laughs> just a bit of self destruction on the video from Scott there saying he goes with other women. No, headline. He does not. He's with other women. No, he's no, not with other women. Scott never needs to be with other women. He works with lots of women. He's put up with women for life. <laughs> just before you start off any rumours there. Plus, he has the most beautiful woman out there, so what do we need another woman for? Aww. The thought of another woman, Jesus Christ, that makes my beard just go greyer automatically, I think. Um, yeah, it was, it was kind of it was a bad habit, you know? I, I have an addictive personality, and I kind of control that addictive personality throughout my life. And I look at, like I was looking at a family member this morning, and I was thinking, Jesus Christ. I was thinking, we do have addictive personalities do run in the family. And this one is like a third cousin or something like that. I think it's all over the place. And I try and keep my Addictions own... in what way? Anything. Alcohol. Food. Food. I know buying clothes was one of the family's food, addictions. Food, alcohol, drugs. It runs... Not you with the Not drugs. me personally. No, or alcohol. Um, shopping, shopping. Shopping addictions. Shopping addictions. Um, just addict, addicted personality. Addicted to women and or I, men. And I do, you know. yeah, I do kind of really try and control my addicted personality and put it into something which is a good addiction. And December time, when Alexandra found out it was hard, I, I got a bit of a, a gambling habit. A bit of a gambling habit, a bit of an open, just throwing money at something until... Not horses or stuff like that. I just want to I say that. that. A different type of... Investment gambling habit, if that makes sense. Yeah, and it was just, if the real Scott would not have done those stupid decisions, but this Scott was just in destruction mode. And then that destruction came into my life, it came into my eating, it came into my gym, and I just went down that rabbit hole of just destruction, okay? And I didn't know, by the way. She did not know, and I knew what I was doing after about three weeks. Okay, I had a choice. I I could tell myself it wasn't happening, or... I could admit it that it was happening. I admitted it was happening to Alexandra, and as soon as I did that, it stopped. And I admit to myself, I wasn't telling myself lies anymore, and I straightened myself out straight away. Because I was kind of your accountability buddy, and I still am to be, I do still say, when he's uh, working on his investments and his other stuff, I do still say to him, and you're not gambling, are you? These are good. <laughs> you're not gambling, are you? And Scott doesn't gamble anymore. You're not no. playing the system. He has a you're bit not of fun at the roulette that. rail, are you? He has a bit of fun here and there, which is always nice. But, but no, no, I definitely don't self destroy. So him. accountability, I think we're also saying, be honest with the people around you. I think when I'm honest with Scott about my my self destruction is behavioural, as in I'm not a nice person, and. I'm horrible and I destroy the relationships around me and I push people away. That is massively my self-destructive. Or it could be a business event. Like, a, like I had to ban Alexander from my last business because she's just self-destructive of the business. She was destructive for the business. I didn't mean to be, but she was destructive I for just the business. didn't... Yeah, I just... And, you know... I wasn't good for business. No, she was just destructive like a banner. She got a ban. I gave her a life- lifetime ban from my business. But then he closed it down, so ban gone. But you're destructive in physical ways. Most of most of the time, it's eating, isn't it, or not going to the gym. Do you not know doing what? You know what? Thing. I'll be absolutely honest with you. Excuse the lorry. I used to be like that with not going to the gym and my eating. But my mindset's really changed about that now. It really has because I've kind of accepted nearly thought, and I'm never going to get a six back anyway. Well, I could if I wanted to, but I want to look good. One, I look skinny. But excuse the van coming. Anyway, we best wrap this video up. But yeah, it's self- yeah, self destruction. It's normal. Um, everybody has it for different reasons. Obviously, there are some perfect people out there that don't. But in a business point of view, especially in the industry that we have, you do not want to work hard to build something absolutely incredible and then destroy it. And you can very, very quickly and irrevocably destroy things. You can family. destroy things in this business with one Facebook post. It's that simple. Yeah, and you spend all this time building up this persona and this yeah, who you are. One Facebook post. Hopefully this over. video hasn't self-destructed our business. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> so because... People will be going, oh, I go, Scott's got habits. <laughs>
Costco. How are you? Costco, Costco loves puppies. It's usually called kissing and hugging his dogs. Um, kissing yeah, and hugging not, his ladies. Yeah, not nice why. Um, he actually still owes me. What's some um, of my habits? What's some of my habits? You still owe me an entire wedding anniversary. Still you still owes, haven't done that. It's yeah. late late anniversary so yeah have everybody have habits it's important that you have good but habits self-destruction is not a habit you want to get into so look at emotional intelligence if you feel that you are self-destructive or you keep ruining things in your life relationships your health your business uh, relationships with your children whatever the heck it is look at self-destructive behavior because once you know that that is a personality trait like Scott knows addictive personality runs in his family, you can really do something about it and live a better life. life. And when a you recognize, life. and because I recognize it, you know, because I'm not perfect, and because I recognize it, I can put it right. I like put it oh right a lot God, quicker. Oh my God, that could be the title. Scott is not perfect. Well, now he's getting to four, he's getting a bit gray. And I, you know, people say they pay for this color, by the way. Yeah, allegedly in Turkey where we are right now, Scott was going to dye his beard, but allegedly this is the colour that men pay to go, which baffles me. It does. Why they would pay to look like Santa Claus, but this is the thing. It does. But anyway, guys, this video oh, is as long as... Oh, it's a usual, it's a usual short, wick free bit. This video is as long as the intro. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. And if you want to find out more about what we do, it's in the comment box below. But yes, guys, how we're able to travel and... Stuff. not self-destruct and we're always gonna have bad days in our lives guys but it's important like when i work out or eat healthy and then we have a bad day if you have a bad day in life bad day working out bad day whatever recognize it accept it and don't do a double go to bed and start fresh the next day and make sure you change that bad habit before it turns into an even worse habit like like waving your finger on my videos this is my video <laughs> i saw the video adios adios